The African Christian Democratic Party, DA, Action SA, FF Plus and COPE have agreed to form a coalition government in the city of Tswane and support the DA's mayoral candidate there. However, in Johannesburg, the parties have not finalized how they will unite against the ANC. To tell us more about their uh, coalition agreements, ACDP President Reverend Kenneth Meshwe joins us now virtually as well. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Reverend Meshwe, for your time. Now, first of all, is this a sealed deal when it comes to uh, the city of Tswane? Are we, are we um, going to see uh, the mayor of the DA staying in that city? Good morning, Maseho, and to all the viewers and listeners. Yes, regarding Tswane, the deal has been signed. Mm. All right. Tell me a little bit more about uh, the Johannesburg deal, because we know that the federal executive of the DA has always said that uh, in terms of coalition agreements, wherever they lead, they want to have their mayoral candidate there. So they clearly want uh, Mpopalazi to take over the city of Johannesburg, but the ACDP is rather supporting Action SA's Herman Mashaba. Among the decisions that were made in our meeting yesterday was that we limit ourselves to the statement that has been made, uh, where all parties agreed that until the deal is signed, we are all going to limit ourselves to the statement that was agreed to by all leaders. Now, obviously, members of the public would want to know what was discussed and agreed and what is in the statement. So, Masiho, if you will allow me, let me read that statement that we agreed to limit ourselves to. All right. Okay. All right. A joint statement by the leaders of the following political parties, DA, Action SA, FF Plus, ACDP, UDM, and COPE. The statement was made on the 19th of November to 2021. Leaders and delegations of the DA, Action SA, FF Plus, ACDP, UDM, and COPE met in Johannesburg on Friday to discuss the way forward on forming coalition governments. This meeting was a follow-up on the meeting held on the 15th of November between these parties and several bilateral discussions. The discussions were constructive and the parties agreed that in the interest of the future of South Africa, it is important to form stable governments which are serious about service delivery and to arrest the decay of local government. The discussions were mainly focused on Swane and Johannesburg metros. The Johannesburg Metro Council is sitting on Monday, the 22nd November, to constitute the council. As far as the Tswane Metro is concerned, the parties agreed to form a coalition government and to support the mayoral candidate of the DA. In Johannesburg, the parties will attempt to keep the ANC out and to form a minority government. The majority of parties present agreed to support the mayoral candidate of Action SA. Can I just stop you there, uh, please, Consensus. Reverend? Uh, Reverend, I just want to stop you there because uh, that goes to my question. Um, basically, what I'm asking you is, in terms of the city of Johannesburg, the federal executive of the, of the DA still needs to consider what you have put forward in terms of supporting um, Action SA's Herman Mashaba. They've said that they want to take over wherever they lead in the coalition uh, that they form. And they lead in Johannesburg when you look at these six parties that you've mentioned in the statement. If you leave the ANC out, which you have, 
Between these six parties, the DA leads in Johannesburg. So are they going to negotiate with their federal executive? And if the federal executive comes back to you and says, no, we still want Mpopalazzi to take over as mayor of Johannesburg, what happens then? I don't think the federal executive will disagree with other political parties because they know that it will be impossible for them to govern without other political parties. Mm. And because going into the future, going towards 2024 elections, cooperation is still needed among all opposition parties, particularly those six that were part of the discussions yesterday. So I cannot see how they can want to jeopardize the relations, which at this stage are cordial. Mm. Why are the six parties choosing to support uh, Herman Mashaba? Is it because uh, he has experience before, or are you trying to be fair because you've given the DA uh, the city of Tswane? Let's give somebody else a chance in the city of Johannesburg. What's the case there? It, it is the nature of compromise in politics. Whenever there are discussions, compromises are made. And all other parties were asked the question in the meeting, do you want to put forward your own candidate? The door was not closed, including myself, including Cope and UDM. We were asked, are you planning to put forward a candidate? Mm. And we all said, no. And HNSA said, we want to. So in the game that was ahead of us, in fairness, Action SA had to be given an opportunity and to be supported mm. by all these other parties that are supporting the DA mayorship in Tswane. So it was the right thing to do. Mm. So basically, Action SA, FF Plus, ACDP, UDM, and COPE, uh, those five uh, besides the DA, are supporting Action SA in the city of Joburg. They have confirmed that they are support, mm. and we are expecting the DA to come back to us this weekend, and we are hoping that their message will also be positive to in support of uh, Action SA. Mm. Just very quickly, Reverend, what are some of the promises that you've made to each other? We know that the DA said that it would form uh, coalitions and it would make sure that it has legal contracts that are binding so that they don't see another collapse at council or people being uh, voted out like we saw in the city of Tswane. So what, is, what are the, some, some of the things that you agreed on to form this coalition? Well, the nuts and bolts will be put together after we have agreed how we are going to run both uh, Johannesburg and Swane Metro. Mm -hmm. The most important thing was to agree that we are going to stand together and, and that in Swane mm -hmm. it will be the DA who will get the mayorship mm -hmm. and in, Houten, in, in Johannesburg it will be and the Demashaba of Action SA. So once that is done and settled, then we'll come into the nitty gritties, which will make it public at the right time. Mm. And of course, the nitty gritties are very important to the residents of Johannesburg and the city of Tswane. So I guess the main mandate for all these six parties was to, as you've been saying, remove the ANC. Correct, because um, everybody knows about the corruption that uh, the whole country has suffered because of leadership from the ANC. We know how bad service delivery is. In some areas, there is no service delivery at all. And because we love this nation, we love this country, we love its people, we thought the supporters of the ANC have spoken. And the message they send out to the public and to the ANC is loud and clear. Mm. Let's give them less than 50% Let's not vote for them so that we give another organization an opportunity. Mm. So these organizations now have come together to say the voters are saying they want to give us another opportunity to ensure that what they could not get under the ANC leadership they will get when all these other political parties have come together to provide proper and quality service delivery. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's the leader of the ACDP, Reverend Kenneth Mishwillett.